look carefully at any of the world's biggest stars or politicians or anything like that. Just a few steps behind them, around them, in front of them, just circling them carefully, you'll find a man or a woman tasked with keeping them safe. Yes. Now, British-born Nina Hobson is one of the most respected close protection bodyguards in the world with a CV that is in incredible. It includes prime ministers, pop stars, you name it. Yeah. Unbelievable. And Nina is here. You've taken a bit of time out to come and join us on the sofa. Good to see you. Um, there's so much to talk about. I wonder how you got into it and who you've protected. <laughs> but just one thing we were talking about this morning, the attempted assassination on Donald Trump. Right. And in the front of shot, there was a female protection officer and then the head of the CIA was a female as well. And the sexist abuse they got and a lot of mid-American going, why are women in this role, this important role? And it was shocking to hear it and that kind of prejudice exists out there. What was your view on all that? Oh, I mean, any time there's a woman in a man's world, that's the kind of grief that you get. You know, I'm sure it was the women's fault that he got shot. I'm sure it was the women's fault that he survived. So, um, to me, I mean, I've grown up in a man's world. I've only ever worked with men, whether it's been in the police or in close protection or the security that I working now, so I'm not surprised at all to hear those kind of things, but to me, those women were doing their job and they did it incredibly well. And it's about time that there were more women in security because uh, we're really good at it. Well, it's not just all about being some big, burly beefcake, is it? No. It's strategy, it's everything, right? Yeah, correct. And, you know, in America, it's very much, I call them the Hollywood bodyguards, and they have a, a purpose and a place, and, you know, they're six foot nine and... Ugh. Um, and that's fine most of the time, but sometimes if you are just that person and you are not really 100% sure what to do when it goes wrong, mm -hmm. and it sometimes does, then that's when you've got a problem and you need to have somebody who's trained and knows what they're doing. From getting a celebrity in and out of a car, you know, you go, how, well, how do you do that? You, well, you've got to get them out without paparazzi getting in the other side. You know, just the little things that as a trained person we understand. Whereas a, a big mm. guy mm. doesn't necessarily. Yeah, it's all right being muscle, but you also just need a bit of, uh, you know, forward planning. I bet you're right. thinking 10 steps ahead all the time, Always. right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, you need brains to get Bono out of a pub, right? That, I, I failed that one, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that, because you were, you were his bodyguard, is that right? I looked after him when he was on tour in Australia, yeah. So he has the same bodyguard he's had forever, and I was very privileged to get to look after him in Australia, and he was just wonderful. I think I drank my first bottle of Cristel champagne with him, to be honest. <laughs> what a claim to fame, eh? Because Bono, Bono is, and, and that's the difficulty, he's such a man of the people, he likes to wander around, live as normal a life as he possibly can. Right. We see him in Dublin all the time, in Finnegan's Pub and Dorky. You have to try and fit into that lifestyle when you're protecting Bono. Right? Yeah, and the thing with Bono is he took on a security expert and he listened to what you told him, which is great, you know, that's what my job is, so please listen to me. That's not necessarily true with every person that we look after. <laughs> and you say, don't do this because it's not safe. Oh, well, you'll fix it. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a really different dynamic, but Bono was great. What, what's the, the key bit of advice you give them when you start working with them? And start working with them. <laughs> as, as a, going back to the female thing, as a female, you sometimes get, do you know what you're doing? So the key bit of advice is, I know what I'm doing, please listen to me. And if you think, to, even to the client, if you think there's a problem, tell me, because we can fix it rather than try and navigate it after the event. So we, we have a very, very tight relationship with who we look after. Well, the thing is, you have years of experience and yes. this started, you know, on the British police force, right? Right. And then yeah. talk us through that journey then. So you started as... Just a beat cop, yeah. as they call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. beat Bobby um, back in the day when my I had to have a handbag and heels. Oh, there um, you are there, look. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, that's a long time wow, ago. Wow, look at that. Um, please don't show any of my team that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Too late. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I wanted to be working with dogs or horses and that didn't happen. And as a female back then, you were put into the rape victim situation to look after rape victims or children. I yep. didn't have kids, I didn't like kids, I didn't want kids, but I, as a female, that was my role. And then... Um, the story around me, me doing my first protection work was we had, back in the day, the booze cruise to France. Yep. And um, you had to pick your name out of a hat because obviously we couldn't all go and I, I didn't get my name picked out and I was, 
I was a bit miserable about it and a bit of a tantrum. And so my boss said, well, how about you do this tomorrow? And he didn't know what the job was or anything. You need to be at this place at 5 a.m. And this place just happened to be looking after Margaret Thatcher. Wow. And uh, so that was, that was fun. That was worth missing the, the booze cruise. Wow. And so that was kind of my first feeling of close protection work. Um, on the outskirts, because she has a team and she had a team that she went everywhere with and if they didn't go with her, she wouldn't go. Um, and that's how it works in the police with, with obviously politicians and royalty. A um, little bit different with celebrities, but yeah, that was my first taste and then I, it went from there. How, how do you even start with someone like Britney Spears, who's instantly recognisable? Yeah. Um, and constantly, I guess, a threat because of that. How, how, how do you start those conversations? What do you do on a daily basis with her? Uh, I can't obviously go into too much about what I do with her particularly because obviously that, You're that's still doing it. security. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, let's put it this way. We have a lot of fun. Nice. A lot of fun and a lot of stress. And I have a lot of grey hairs. Well, let's take it when <laughs> she parties, you have to party, albeit on, on mineral water. You have to be alongside. You have to do everything. Always mineral water. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I thought it was interesting that now, so it's it's scaled up from you, you know, like you say, starting off with Margaret Thatcher, then you do Bono, and then you get in sort of the music industry. Now you have a team of 50, right? 15. Oh, 15, 15. sorry. So, 15. Um, to this show, it'll be 15, Nina. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, so the company that I work for is a company called David Shield Security, and we're a global company, and we specialise in close protection and investigations. So I'm head of their investigations as well as head of the client that you've just mentioned. I'm head of her team. Wow. So I have 15 alpha males working for me. <laughs> and I bet you people go to them first thinking that they're in charge, right? It's really interesting when you go somewhere and, and they don't recognise that, you know, and you say, oh, our head of security is here, that they will go naturally to the guy to oh, shake the hand first. And I love that moment when I go, oh, excuse me, it's me. Oh, well done. Um, but yeah, that's... that happens all the time just because being a female and, and being a British female as well I mean who who thought it who'd have thought yeah right but, you know you are so cool if you don't mind me saying I think you are wicked and what you've done and and you know you're sort of paving the way for future women to do it as well yeah I hope so I mean that's my big thing to to leave a legacy and it we can do it yeah. just because we're not the Muslim men we can do it and we do it very well good on you Absolutely Keep going, nothing. yeah, brilliant. And, uh, yeah, an inspiration to a lot of people out there. You may be creating new bodyguards just this morning Let's by being on the so. sofa. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you so for visiting our This Morning YouTube channel. So. Now, we upload new content every day, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. And we'll see you in the morning.